No, I don't think it's funny, Elvis. I think it's tasteless. I run a class operation here. I'm sending all this junk back. Yes, even the peeping Tom Olives. <laughs> peeping Tom Olives? <laughs> Son of a female dog. Joe, why are you swearing at Olives? <laughs> They're all different. <laughs> and dirty. How does she do that? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! hey. hey. So you guys are looking into some olives. Have a look. Oh, my God, I know that woman! <laughs> Hi, goys and boils. Hi, one and all. Hi. Oi! Am I a faggot or what? Cliff, what are you doing? What do you mean? What Joe is trying to say is you cannot come in here all fagboyant. Lou, I can dress however I like. Well, sure you can, but do it in the privacy of your own shame. <laughs> Kelly, give me your opinion. Have you seen these olives? Okay, okay, look. I'm going to Fire Island with Donald, and I think I should have a new wardrobe. Cliff, it's a little loud for work. It's a little loud for Mardi Gras. You know, there's one thing that I don't understand. Oh, Lou. Don't underestimate yourself. Thanks. What is Fire Island? sort of a gay national park. You guys camping? Donald? Always. Hello, 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 hello. Imposter! I am the rightful queen of Philadelphia. You don't like it, huh? What is the meaning of all this? Donald, I wanted to fit in when we go to Fire Island. Fine, we'll tell them we're spinning Marty. I'm sorry. It's just that, you know, you're my role model. Clifford, Clifford, you remember, in the gay world, it's not the clothes that makes the man. It's the man that makes the man. So what you're saying is, is... Be yourself. Right. Now, we'll go shopping and we'll find you. But don't ever be me again or I'll slam you up against a car. You know, you remind me of my first husband. Well, how many times you've been married? Never. <laughs> oh, my God. Penny, you're staring. I'm not staring. I'm shopping. <laughs> Okay, four Bushmill shooters and start thinking about a shower gift. What is it with women? Take away their uniforms and what would they be? Naked. <laughs> That's it. Tell them to drink up and get out. Daddy, these are our boys in blue. Defenders of our country. They deserve our attention. Who knows how long they'll be here? Three days. They're part of the Air Force show. Three days. Let's go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There. Are you saying these guys are the Blue Angels? Not exactly. They call themselves the Four Flying Friends. <laughs> I'd like to make a five. Look, I don't care if they're the Four Tops. We've got other customers. I'll take care of these Jamokes. Jamokes? <laughs> hey. Has Donald been here yet? He said he was going to take me shopping today. <laughs> Penny? Kelly? Not now, Cliff. We're busy. <laughs> busy? What? Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! What you guys staring at? 
The man, man in my, my future. future. <laughs> you want to marry bus drivers? <laughs> Lou, they're pilots with the air show. Oh, yeah, I heard they was in town. I just love the Blue Angels. They're not the Blue Angels, Lou. They're the four flying friends. Oh, Quakers. <laughs> okay, I'll admit it. I was wrong about these flyers. They're great guys. Paying cash? Every one of them. It's shopping time, Clifford. Let's make like the Spanish Inquisition and hit the racks. <laughs> Gain a minute, Donald. Cliff, I'm not going to stand here and stare at a bunch of men. I'll meet you over there. Go near them and die, Donald. I just, just wish they'd turn around. I'll bet. Hey, Joe, how about another round? Coming up. We'll do it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Cliff. I, I just remembered something I forgot. We'll have to go shopping later. Donald, are you okay? Excuse me, the guy that just left. He looks familiar. Well, of course he does. I've known him for over a year now. Flamingo mailbox, and they never leave you alone. <laughs> yes, what is it? Catch you at a bad time? Cliff, I'm working. I need to focus all my inner strength to become one with the words on the page. Writing some stuff, huh? <laughs> Cliff, I don't write stuff. I create, I dream, I turn words into magic. He was big, also tall. They called him Ricardo. <laughs> That's it? Every fag's a critic. <laughs> or every critic's a fag. Or every fag's a fag. I don't know. <laughs> Donald, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Did you know those guys at the restaurant? We flew together in Vietnam. That's right. You were in Nam. Well, in a way. I mean, Lieutenant Don Maltby was there, but Donaldo was not. You mean, you didn't tell anyone over there that you were gay? There weren't a lot of mixers. <laughs> it just wasn't the time to be open. You not open? Donald, the homosexual rock of Gibraltar? Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Donald, let me ask you something. Well, you were in the service. Did you doubt that you were gay? Oh, of course not. Even in high school, I knew I was different. I liked Raquel Welsh for her clothes. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was Jim Palmer and his jockey shorts. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, once I decided I was gay, I came out full tilt boogie. <laughs> I made Boy George look like David Eisenhower. I was a screaming raven queen to beat the band, which I did upon request. <laughs> and then I met that special someone, Homer. Homer? Homer Thornby. <laughs> Drove a semi. <laughs> Peterbilt. What else? <laughs> <laughs> Donald, did he break your heart? No, Cliff, I did. I wanted a relationship, but he only saw me as a one-nighter, because that's what I looked like. See, I'd been so busy being gay, I never learned who I was as a person. I certainly wasn't a truck stop tramp. <laughs> Didn't have the legs for it. So you ran away? Joined the Air Force. There, I could put my life on hold and sort things out. And those guys at the bar bring back bad memories. Oh, no. They bring back wonderful memories. 
I learned to love those men in a whole other way. The job we had to do came first. Then why don't you want to see them? I owe them money. <laughs> because it would ruin what we had. You're hiding. What? You're hiding. What happened to be yourself? Oh, Cliff, this is different. No, it isn't. Look, Donald, isn't it bad enough that you hid from them once? How much dignity was there in that? Don't you ever say that. If they'd known I was gay, they might have worried more about the safety of their pants than the safety of the squadron. And I would never have put them in that kind of danger, Cliff. Oh, so then so much for standing up to the world. Cliff, you don't understand. Oh, no, 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 I understand. Donald Maltby's ashamed of being homosexual. And that damn well scares this homosexual. You don't understand! So, is there anything else you desperately, longingly, passionately want? Uh, yeah, actually, there is one thing. You've got it. I want to ride in the space shuttle someday. Look, Ace, I've been subtle, I've been coy. Do we have a future together or what? Kelly, we'd be moving from city to city. Our kids would have to transfer from school to school. What kids? I'm talking 10.30 to the end of Ted Koppel tonight. Lou, I'm really worried about Donald. He's a fag. I mean, what do you call it when a homosexual isn't sure he's gay anymore? A light at the end of a tunnel. Uh, Joe, listen, uh, would you consider closing and renting out your restaurant for my guys to have a party? Oh, gee, Eddie, I, I'd have to turn away some of my regulars. That's too bad. You know, we were figuring on maybe 20, 30 guys, 50 bucks a head, but I understand. Okay, everybody out. This isn't a town square. Let's move. Hey, Joe, not tonight. Tomorrow night. Oh, you crazy said Eat and enjoy. Right. You got yourself a deal. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Boy, that'll be some party. Old buddies reminiscing. I love to reminisce. It's a way of remembering things. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Don Don. Is it true you ain't a fag no more? Sure, and the Osmonds are doing O Calcutta. So I'm still talking to a homo? I prefer Fiery Queen. <laughs> For big talk from the bell of the cowardly ball. Cliff, look, Donald, Donald, Cliff told me, and I think you are making a mistake. They seem like great guys. I know. That's why I won't embarrass them by floating back into their lives. Let them have their memories at the expense of your own self-respect. I respect myself, Cliff. Sometimes you just can't throw a shock into people you care about. Why don't you let them decide whether they'll accept you? Oh, I don't know. Why would I want to relive the most confusing years of my life? Donald, sometimes that's all we have. I'll tell you, I never thought I'd have to stoop this low to get a date. Exactly how low have you stooped? I'm working, aren't I? <laughs> What's with the outfit? What? You said we're basic black and white. You look like a Christmas ornament at the Mustang Ranch. <laughs> Kelly. Yes? Is this your phone number? Where? on Eddie's menu under specialty of the day. Yeah, it was just a little joke. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take that off there. 
Anyone seen Donald? No, not yet. You know, maybe he's really not gonna come. As Harry Belafonte once said, here come the banana boat. <laughs> Donald. Too butch. <laughs> we ain't fooled by a flit in sheep's clothing, if that's what you mean. How'd you like to be a speed bump at the next air show? Ignore him, Donald. You look very handsome. Donald, I'm proud of you. You're here. Well tell you the truth, halfway here, I almost chickened out. But dressed like this, where am I gonna go? Unless the village people are touring. <laughs> hey, pal, you're here. That's all that matters. Well, here goes. I mean, I'm gonna do what I should have done years ago. Whatever happens, those guys are gonna meet the real Donald Maltby. Hi, guys. Don Malpe here. Hey, oh, Don nice. Malpe. Hey, Don. <laughs> Great to see you. Take care. Donald, Donald, what the hell are you doing? I know, Cliff. You're going to say, Donald, what the hell are you doing? You're a, a fake. You're a jerk. You're a coward. But you have impeccable taste in clothes. Am I right? Well? Well, you're wrong, except about the clothes. <laughs> I'm going to tell them. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, oh, right. Good to see you. Oh, hey, how are you doing, Al? Good to see you. Excuse me. Uh, Donald, you always wear a strange bird. How well, you doing? Well, you know. <laughs> how about another beer over here, huh? Thank you. Hey. So, Donald, what have you been doing with your life? Oh, well, funny you should ask. <laughs> uh, boys, I... I've got something to tell you that might just knock your fuel tanks off. <laughs> Look, guys, I, uh, I don't know how to say this. S sometimes a man can appear very macho and, and still be gay. Yeah, I was wondering about that stocky guy with the beard. <laughs> No, he's not gay. Oh, God, don't, please don't let him be gay. <laughs> but I am. You? What? Yes, I'm gay. And I was when we were flying together in, in Nam. I just never told you. Listen, why don't you let me explain over another beer, huh? <sighs> no, thanks. What? Why don't you just wiggle over to the bar and have a white wine and leave us alone? No, let me explain. Take no. your hands off of me before you withdraw a stump. Nick, take it easy. No! What, am I supposed to feel good about trusting this fag to cover my butt in combat? I opened my life up to this guy. I showered with this flit. Who knows what he was staring at? That's not necessary. Ed. Oh, and Nick, believe me, as I recall, you had very little to hide. Sorry. Look, Ed, you were the best damn pilot I ever knew, and the best squadron leader. I respected and loved you for that. No more, no less. I don't want you to ever think differently. I never did. You mean you knew? Of course I knew. But you couldn't have known. I never told anyone. Well, I never told anybody I was black, but somehow they figured it out. <laughs> but how? 
Well, my mother was black. My mother was black. How did you know I was gay? Because you knew all the lyrics in Pajama Game. <laughs> and you still accepted me. Donald, the way we figured it, some people, they see Shelly here as black, some just see a man. You had to battle that same kind of prejudice every day, only you couldn't fight back. But there you were, always ready. I could always count on you. I thought you were pretty brave. I was scared. The whole time I was there. Hey, we all were. Gentlemen, to us. Huh? To the good times. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Looks like Donald did all right. Never doubted it. I'll tell you, those guys mean that much to Donald. They must be great guys. You bet. Everybody, let's raise our glasses and our voices to the fighting men in the skies. Gentlemen, your song. Up in the air, junior bird man. Up in the 